Oh well, guys, we got an early morning. Hauling some of our last loads with this truck. Guys, guys, it's pretty much ready to be sold. Uh, got some good runs today. Just a little pull around here. sell the p389 and not buy another project you guys are wrong father-in-law already picked up the new truck from pennsylvania he has to stop by down uh visit some family in south carolina and guys soon the peak will be over here it's another p389 but it's with the cat this time so it's gonna be a fun little project of course i'll show you guys once it gets back down here Check out that clock, 4 a.m. for a local delivery. That's probably the earliest local delivery I've ever done. It's only down the street. They want it delivered at 5 a.m. Now guys, I am gonna be asking ADK for this truck because you know, in order for me to build the same truck, it's gonna probably cost me a hundred grand. I mean, it's got everything I wanted. It's got the 355 gears. It's got the 18 speed, 1850 torque tranny and the best thing is you know the tranny's reman the differentials are reman it's got a low mile engine that we swapped in it originally came with the 34 6 e now it's a 6 nz uh, they're not too far apart in differences they're pretty much the same engine as 34 6 e they actually share a lot of the parts a lot of the 34 6 e parts basically fit this engine they're pretty much the same um but guys i mean it's just ready to go and haul some loads I just hate to see it just sitting around. For me, I'd probably love a day cab. Now, if you guys do have a day cab, I might consider trading it, depending on the right day cab, because I don't, I don't want anything with new engines sticking to my old engines. I don't want to deal with the DEF GR and all that stuff. But, you know, I do a lot of local work around here and day cab would probably be more, more better for me. And we got other projects in mind that we want to keep going on. I just don't want to I just want to probably sell this truck and hop on a day cab for now. Hopefully the market improves soon. See so yeah, guys, if you're interested, I'm going to probably leave some info how to contact me in the description. And just like I said, it has 720K original miles came from a day cab. It's got the original ECU, so if you plug it in, it shows 720, it's like 725K around there. I got it when it was around 685, 690, almost 690K miles, original miles on the engine. So I've put about close to 30K, 35K on the engine, and it's just been running solid, guys. All I did was basically the Bully Dog Turbo on it, which, you know, it's a quick spool. This thing actually did improve the fuel mileage on these. Because everybody I talk to gets around 5 miles per gallon, but I've been averaging 6.2. 6 even that times, you know, I've, I've done up to seven, uh, seven miles per gallon with the lighter loads. So that's one of my favorite parts, you know. I don't know if it's the turbo that's been helping out a lot. Or other than that, it's still rated at 475 and it's got this turbo. But it's got the 12-gauge visor. It's the 12.9, 8-inch stacks. Pretty much polished the fuel tanks and the wheels ourselves. The tires in the front are pretty much brand new. And, you know, it's got the 12-gauge air ride with the one and a half uh air ride peat leaf this is the leaf springs that come out of a three on come on a 389 with the double bag suspension so we already installed those tires are pretty much brand new the wheels actually have been replaced they're uh by the last owner about about three years old on the wheels the rear wheels uh they are 2010 wheels so well roughly 13 years old wheels in the back they polished out not all right not too bad 
if you come close you could probably see some pitting but on that guys it's got the peat window we got all the lights installed it's pretty much ready to be ready to go on to the next owner a little bit over two years ago it got the reman see if i could zoom in it's got the reman diffs got the north northwest rebuild center whoever did it and it's also got an 18 speed reman transmission it's actually the 18 it's the 1850 torque so the engine itself is only rated at 475 i never operated it or nothing like that i just didn't want to mess with uh you know nothing too special on the interior other than an extended shifter with a nice ball Got the forever sharp steering wheel blue vinyl wrap dash cb up and running of course guys somebody's gonna have to figure out what to do with the sunroof i have the cap top i have not installed it i could give you guys the cap top or you know maybe just <laughs> seal it up really good and just get one complete head panel and you know just leave the sunroof as is that's what i was gonna do i was just gonna seal it up really good and get one full complete uh headliner because i don't like this sunroof guys they like the sun glares into your eyes 